I think Donald Trump is a, a man of destiny. I think destiny is uh, plays a role in it. People may feel that he doesn't belong someplace, or he shouldn't be this, or he shouldn't be the president. But uh, people like Napoleon and Hitler and Barack Obama and and so forth and so on are all people of destiny. The fact that they're there it means that they're meant to be there. I think he's going to uh, appoint the guy that was the head of the Republican Party, whatever his name is, Regis, as his main person and is representing uh, his staff. But I think the person's going to be basically almost like a public service press agent that uh, is used for the purposes of uh, communicating with the public uh, rather than actually being a hardline executive of any kind. And with Christie, I, I think uh, he'll save the turkey before he saves Christie. And he may do something for him a la later along the line. But right now, uh, I think Christie uh, doesn't fit into his picture. There's a big conflict of interest. And uh, Christie's kind of a, a failed candidate, uh, and um, he's worried about his public image uh, being tainted by uh, Christie. So uh, I think he's going to probably pick the head of the Republican Party and probably have him deal with people like uh, Paul Ryan or the other people because he's more of a diplomat. Uh, type. Uh, he, he seems to be able to talk to people and not agitate them and that's actually what Donald Trump needs because he's not one that can smooth things over pretty easily. He tells you what he thinks and politicians don't do that and I don't think he's capable of changing. He's trying to soften his image but well we'll see what happens.